Hello, and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today we're going to learn how to do a registration mark. Sometimes when you're doing designs and you have a registration mark uh, that's uh, attached with the design, uh, you'll, you'll need to go in and do a trademark or a registration mark. And so I'm going to show you how to actually insert one of those inside of a design. Uh, we have our design on the screen. All we're going to do is going to navigate over to the letter A here. It's going to bring up our lettering properties. I'm going to scroll up. In your lettering properties, you have uh, a tab. And that tab is called Insert Symbol here. And I'm just going to click on the arrow pointing to the left. It's going to bring up a list of symbols here. It'll have a list of all of the alphabet, both the Embroidery Studio satin stitch fonts and the Windows Truce type fonts here with all of the symbols in them as well. So we're going to go in. The design is small so we're going to use a running stitch. So I'm going to click on the arrow here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to type in run. And what I'm looking for, I'm looking for the run, run block font. Here it is. I'm going to select the run block. It's going to bring up the run block font and its symbols. And as I scroll down my list here, you'll see the characters, upper lowercase. I'm going to continue to scroll down and you'll see a list of symbols. Uh, the copyright here and also registration mark. So right now, I'm going to go in. I'm going to click on the R for the registration mark. It's going to place that here in the selection. I'm going to click OK. And just as just as I would if I were creating text on the screen, I'm going to create text. I'm going to go on the screen here. I'm going to do a left click at here. And that's going to place my registration mark on the screen. From here, I can press my control key and I can reduce the size of that like this. If I need to make it slightly smaller, I can make it slightly smaller as well. Let's shrink it up a little bit like this. So now we have a registration mark uh, here for our design. And what I'm going to show you also here is to be able to make sure that the stop and stop points um, start and stop in the center of the hoop actually. You see a little white crosshair here at the end. That's where the last stitch is actually. And that little white crosshair should be in the center of the design and it's not. Okay, how to fix that? I'm going to navigate up top to your, to your design drop menu and we're going to choose auto start and end. We're going to make sure that the apply auto start and end is selected and the maintain automatically. We're going to make sure also that the dot here should be in the center of the hoop is what this represents here. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to save this by clicking save and I'm going to overwrite the normal template so that it saves it the next time and I'm just going to click OK. Watch the white crosshair move from the last stitch here to the center as soon as I click OK. And here we are. Okay. To verify that, that, it do, that it's actually doing what it's supposed to do as well, I'm going to go up top here and I'm going to click on the stitch player. We're going to make sure and we can increase that and again this is just showing us exactly how the, the design is going to stitch on the machine. And we're just verifying that it goes back to the center also with the white crosshair. Okay, as it continues to stitch, it's going to do the outline and once it completes the outline, it should go back to the center of the hoop. I'll increase this a little bit because there are quite a bit of uh, satin stitches here for the outline and I'll slow it down again once it gets close to the uh, registration mark. Almost done here. And there. 
There's our design. I'm going to press escape. Clear that off the screen. I can press my number one key for my one-to-one -one view of my design and that's going to do it. Thank you so much and we ask that you join us at www.willcomamerica.com. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video to be informative. Visit us at www.willcomamerica.com for more product information and to join the Willcom America community.